Live now is Sergeant Katie Geiger. Um, so tell us about first off the significance of National Night Out, and of course it falls on October 1st this year. Tell us about that. Well, National Night Out is about bringing the community together for a positive interaction, uh, have them meet their neighbors, uh, build, make the community stronger, and then of course with the police interaction, it builds our trust and uh, everything else with the community. Um, it falling on October 1st this year, we have it a uh, superheroes theme, and uh, my crime prevention specialist came up with this, and she thought that it would be a nice way to say where well, there are superheroes in everyone, and we definitely saw that two years ago um, on this date. Uh, so we wanted to make it a superheroes theme to also um, have positive interaction with the kids, uh, making it a very enjoyable night, and we've got a lot of superheroes tonight. Right, superheroes uh, with Metro officers and the kids included. It's so great to see that. Um, tell us why it's so important for you guys to get this face time with the community and with these kids. Uh, we have to have the community's trust in order to uh, be able to serve the community. We live in this community also, uh, so we have to be able to have the community on our side. So it's extremely important that we have this interaction with the community. Right. Thank you so much. We appreciate you having us out here. Um, if you guys want to come have fun, this is ending tonight at 8 o'clock. Reporting live, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now. Chalk up another comfortable day today with a high of 79. Way below average for this time of the year. We should be at 87 right now. 57 is what we kicked off the morning. Another nice cool morning for us. Record territory 103. No 100s. We're not going to see that, all right? 70 in Summerlin outside right now. Aliante, double sevens for you. Nice and pleasant to the east side. Sunrise Mountain coming in at 82 degrees. 80 in Green Valley. Henderson 78, just a digit below that for Blue Diamond and Decatur. Seven Hills 76 and the lakes right now. You're also at 76 degrees. How about outside of town? Prop at 70 even, or I should say uh, Sandy Valley at 70. Prop at 73, double sevens for Boulder City and Laughlin 84. Still no triple digits for Death Valley, thankfully. Uh, you're currently at 83 degrees there in Inyo County. So the cool weather continues across much of the West Coast here, but now seeping a little bit more into the Upper Plains states where the Twin Cities and Bismarck are the 40s to 50s now. 80 still continue, uh, continues in Kansas City. You can see the cool air and the warm air here. We have a lot of clashing storms between those two fronts. So what we're seeing is tornado watches, believe it or not, right now due to that clashing that we're seeing with the, uh, the cooler air and the warmer air. Right now in Iowa, some portions of Missouri, we're dry here with some snowflakes still continuing in Idaho. Your weekend, we're going to warm things up back to the high 80s. That will be above average. Saturday, warmer, nice. Sunday, even warmer at 89 degrees. Plenty of sunshine. And we'll be back to those 90s by early next week. That goes, we'll be a right near average by the time we get to Thursday. We'll sort of stay there and then back to those 90s like we talked about early on next week. No records, though, will be reached. Hey, great jogging weather, too. No alerts for that. In fact, if you want to go in the morning over the afternoon, great conditions for jogging and in that ex exercise in the morning. 53 degrees overnight, clear and crisp for this evening and overnight. Wind should stay nice and light, and that should be the case also for tomorrow, too. 80 for the high, sunny and still pleasant. Again, 87 is where we should be. I don't see winds being a big issue for tomorrow. In fact, it shouldn't be that way. And by the way, we get to the weekend and early next week. We don't see any big winds like we had over Saturday. 76 in Summerlin, 79 downtown, 83 tomorrow for Sunrise Manor. Mountain's Edge and Rhodes Ranch will be at 79 degrees. Outside of town, 78 for Prim. Boulder City also at 78 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast now. Like we said, we'll be warming things up right near average by the time we get to Thursday, and we'll stay there. And then we'll see those numbers get back to those 90s, like we said early on next week, but no sign of any rain at all. That is your most accurate forecast. We'll send it back over to you. Well, many are taking time out of their day to give back on 1 October, some deciding to do that by donating blood. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond shows us the effort at one hospital and how it helps heal some people. Wearing a Route 91 shirt, Riley Murray continues her tradition of donating blood on October 1st. It doesn't really feel like it's been two years. Doing what she can after surviving the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. As someone that made it out okay, it feels good to do something to help um, other people that might be in a similar situation. This blood drive here at Valley Hospital is one of four events hosted by the American Red Cross Tuesday at various locations around the Las Vegas Valley. We wanted to host blood drives so that we could have an outlet for people who wanted to give back to the community in some meaningful way and support 
um, the effort to make a resilient community. Donating blood is always important. Dr. Jeff Davidson says he triaged more than 40 people at Valley Hospital after the tragedy, an experience he'll never forget. It does something to your soul. You, um, you, you learn to live with it, but you, I think, become a better physician having seen what we saw that night. Valley is not a trauma hospital, but still needs blood for various medical cases. While some reflect on this day, Murray considers how her blood may help someone in the future. I think about like if there was another mass shooting somewhere, like that blood could be going to go help someone that was affected by that. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.